Hey everyone, it's Richard Metal Fan here, bringing you guys an old school album review. And today we're going to be looking into this album's 15th anniversary, and it's from uh, one of my favorite death metal bands. And as you can see by the title and by the shirt I'm wearing, today we're going to be talking about The Stench of Redemption by DSI, the band's eighth album released on August 26, 2006, through Earache Records. Now, excuse me. DSI doesn't really need an introduction. One of the legendary bands in death metal, I've talked about them before on this channel. Um, that I saw, saw them live a couple weeks ago at the Masquerade with Cataclysm. That was a great show. And th this album follows up probably with their previous album, Scars of the Crucifix, which was one of still one of my favorite DSI albums. But it was around that time, uh, uh, well, for, well, for the most part, they had the classic lineup, including Glenn Benton, uh, Steve Eshim and both the Hoffman brothers on the guitar, Brian and Eric. But it was around the time after Scars of the Crucifix was released, the Hoffman brothers had left the band, or because I heard there was like some like legal shit, or they were getting paid enough and all royalties and shit, shit, and that pretty much left a huge divide and some really bitter feelings between DSI and the Hoffman brothers, which I'm not gonna go really into. But then after that, they had two new guitarists, and for this album, they have uh, Jack Owen, who used to play for Cannibal Corpse, and uh, the late Ralph Santola, may he rest in peace, he played, played with Iced Earth and Death. And then we get The Sense of Redemption, the band's eighth album. And compared to, to Scars of the Crucifix, it's still Deicide. Like, Deicide definitely has a formula that sticks with them, and they definitely showcase it. Um, and I feel like the title will just seems really fitting, just showing that they're back, sort of like the, a new era, a new beginning of, for Deicide in a way. So, production-wise, I think Deicide ha has pretty solid production for the most part. Um, and then Glenn Benton's vocals, like, you could definitely, it just sounds really just angry and just like, ugh, it just sounds really menacing. And when you hear Glenn Benton's voice, it just it gives you goosebumps. And just his bass playing, I kind of wish was a little bit audible. Um, the drumming-wise, Steve Ashton's drumming, really just, he could, the dude can do no wrong. Um, and then the guitar work from Jack Owen and Ralph Santola, uh, like, they had some really big shoes to fill after the Hoffman brothers had left and I think they really did a pretty good job on this album so without further ado let's dive into this album track by track and then starting things off is the title track the stench of redemption and right from the get-go it starts off with a sick drum intro from Steve and then Glenn, Glenn kicks in with some really catchy vocal, vocal line, lines and then I just really love it how it sort of like like, uh, fits with the guitars with the vocals and the riffs I feel like have improved and it fast forward to about the minute and a half half and it shows some really great great examples of what I mean I mean it, I feel like it starts with one of the best songs on the album and I think it's a really just a great way to begin this album and then we move on to death to Jesus now on honestly blunt song title the deity pretty much be who would have to be oblivious to know what the lyrics are right here and this song has Glenn sort of like using his more high-pitched screams between his lower growls. And this song is a very crushing song with some great melodic solos put in here to really balance the song and it makes sure it doesn't suffer at all or become a little bit bland and boring. And this song also ends on a high note, you know, with like the lyrics saying, In the name of God you die, death to Jesus crucified. Ugh, fucking sick song. And then we move on to Desecration. Now this song starts off with some slower drumming, which pretty much sets the whole mood and tone for this, this song. And then Glenn Benton announced the real start to the song about 30 seconds in with his shattering screams. And the riffs throughout the song are very just, just sound very machine gun like. And it pretty much what I would call like an early DSI classic. And it reminds me a little bit of like their older work like Legion or Once Upon the Cross. And it also features like Ralph, best solo on it and I could see this like being like a single so to speak um next song on the album is called Crucify for the Innocents now this song sort of like takes a little step back lyrically and I find this one to be a little immature and that in a way like his vocal delivery and the newly formed guitar duo that make up for it kind of like lacks sort of like effort in sort of like the lyrical standpoint but Steve I think starts a fast pace here and occasionally it feels like Glenn tries to catch up vocally and occasionally but again and it doesn't really take anything away from the song but I just think it's the worst lyrically but it's still one that musically it's fucking awesome um moving on to walk with the devil and dream you behold 
Now this song waits no longer than 15 seconds to just grab my attention thanks to some really evil sounding riffs that Ralph plays and it just improves the song as it goes on. And Glenn's vocals kind of gets lost in the chaos of the music and he holds his own though but this song also features some of Jack's best guitar work and his guitar playing in the outro itself is very wonderful. Um, next song is called Homage to Satan and this in my opinion is probably my favorite song off of the Century of Redemption and it's also the first single from this album and this fit and I've seen like the video which for some reason it's banned in other countries but I don't see the the big deal it's kind of a bit boring but that's besides the point but the song itself self is pretty good like it's the intro is really catchy and memorable and it pretty much carries throughout the rest of the song and glenn has some really sick vocal lines that make me wonder how does he do that and it also features another probably one of my favorite solos from jack in there um not in this earth now this song begins yet with another drum intro from Steve, followed by some really great lifts and some great vocals from Glenn. And Jack's lead sort of like blend incredibly and it's pretty much placed really well with the album, um, or the song I should say. Um, this song just really gets st started around like a minute and 45 seconds in and it just uh, gets you right in. It just pretty much showcases what Deicide is all about. And I would just pick up this album just for this song if I were to hear it and just pick up this song at album like oh no it's a good song um never to be seen again now this song is kind of kinda has a lot of groove behind it where glenn's vocals are really well placed and this song knows when to slow down a little bit and when to pick back up and i almost kind of wish that glenn had gone higher with his vocals that's just a little nitpick i have and i think it would have improved it greatly he could still hold his own though up against like the rest of the album and then we close things out with the lord sedition and it just begins to sort of like a weird intro with like fire crackling in the background and then a low guitar hums up and it progresses on and i would have expected to be blessed with another heavy riff courtesy of jack and ralph health but and i was kind of surprised when it comes down to some melodic notes being strummed at like a very even pace and around like the 53 second mark arc it just goes in full force of the with something that kind of reminds you a little bit of like Slayer. And this song is definitely a bit slower at the most and the guitar work on this song as a whole works really well here. And it's a really great way to end this album. Um, and overall, Stench of Redemption by DSI, definitely a, a step up from Stars to Crucifix. It almost kind of like showcases a uh, new beginning for the band with the new guitarists. So rather than give this song a score, I'm gonna give the Stench of Redemption by DSI a solid nine out of 10. So yep, that's my review of the album, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the album, and I'll see you all in the next video. And as always, keep it metal.